Hi everybody, how are you? I just finished my Tuesday Schmooze Day show and I was talking about how to make your own crackle at home with white glue. I've probably done this video before, I know I've done it on shows and everything, but a couple people were asking about it so I figured I'd do a real quick video, it doesn't take long. So here you can see I have a page and what you do is, let me try to find a light color to use that Okay, um, what you do is you take a piece of paper, this is just my one of my moleskin journals, um, and you paint any color that you want on it. You want a contrasting color, um, but paint it like I did. I didn't do anything fancy. I had leftover paint from my show, so I just threw it on here, as you can see, and let it dry. Okay, so you put a coat of acrylic paint, any brand, um, folk art, basic, whatever you have. Paint it on. You want to do the whole page, do it. Otherwise, I'm just this is just for demo. Okay, so you do that. Next, take your school white glue. Doesn't have to be, you, you can get it from the dollar store, store brand, whatever, white glue. And squeeze a bunch, if it's not already, there you go. Squeeze a bunch going across. Okay. Take your paintbrush and just very quickly, don't double over. You know, don't keep painting like you're going over a, um, you know, like you're painting it and you want it to be completely covered. You can kind of pull up that way if you want, if it puddles. Nothing fancy. Then, while the glue is still wet, I'm just rinsing off my brush there for a second. While the glue is still wet, grab the other color that you want to use. You want to use a contrasting color. And you want to squirt it the same way or shake it first because it's brand new. and It's a pigment I picked here. Come on, don't go all juicy on me. Of course, why not? There we go. Squirt your paint out and just again, paint down. And I picked a crappy color because uh, the pigment. Try not to go over it too many times because you'll mess up your crackle. Now let's hope because the pigment came out that uh, still works. Okay, so let's watch. And you can use your heat gun, which I'll probably do just to speed it up for you. And I'm going to bring this bad boy down so you can see as it starts to crackle. I know I have a little... Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to use my heat gun just for the sake of speeding it up. I, I think it's honestly better to let it dry by itself, but look over here, it's starting to crackle. Look at that. Look up here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and you can see the crackling, and it's still wet, and I'm not going to, I'm going to use a different color over here rather than that green. <laughs> Only because the green come out and it's not exactly the color I was wanting. Not exactly the color, but I'll use, I'll use this. Because it was artist pigment, so it doesn't have a lot of things in it. So let me just do this one more time over on this side. Maybe you could get a better idea, but it's very simple. This is a dry side, completely dry. You paint your underneath what you want. Take your glue. Squirt your glue. 
Come on, glue. If you want me to be your friend, you're going to squirt. There we go. And then we'll just do a little bit down here, too, just so we can... It doesn't matter. Remember, you want it to be just one swipe. One swipe. One swipe. You don't want to go over it as if you're painting to cover the whole page. Okay. I'm going to rinse my brush while the glue is wet. I get that question so much. Like, do I wait for the glue to dry? No. Take your color. Squirt it across. You want to squirt a little bit here just to help it run down or what have you. And then just run it down. Run it down, run it down. And you can see the difference in the paint already because this is a this isn't a pigment paint, it's a regular craft paint. And just run it down. Cover your page. And then you get like extra little bloopies. I think that was like a thing that come off of there. But I'll just throw that in the water. And let me hit this with the gun. And I can tell I didn't dry off my brush enough. Which it doesn't matter. It's not going to change. I mean, it would have been more. But you can see the cracks coming up. Look how fun. I'm just kind of move it around. You don't want to hold it in too, uh, a position too long. Because it'll start to bubble, which is a whole other texture that I love. We could talk about another time. I love texture. But look how awesome that middle looks with the with the crackling. And even over on this side, and I'll, I'll back up and I'll show you. I'll hold them up. I want to kind of get a little bit more going on here. Now you can use a hair dryer for this if you don't have a heat gun because you're just basically speeding up the drying. You're not embossing where you would need a heat gun for embossing. And I guess so you can get the point. You got me having a fully fully dry it. It's cool, like, if you have a red underneath, like, I could have used gold. You know, you have contrasting colors, which you're going to see. I love my heat gun. I never can. Let me bring it up. This is the first side we did. Look at that. Let me try to bring this up a little bit. And you can see they're still a little bit wet, but we don't, you know. Look at the crackle. Look how cool. And then look at this one. Now, let me tell you, in this one right here, you saw I went with the, with the paint back and forth quite a few times. If you want the cracks to be bigger, like you can see here, it's a big crack over here. I mean, this is a really cool area right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, especially because it still is still a bit wet. Um, you only want to paint over it once with the paint. So you would just take your brush, drag your paint down, and go to the next section. You wouldn't paint like that. Um, I did, and you get smaller cracks, small, smaller crackles, okay, which is not a big deal. I dig that. I love that look, okay? But, again, you can have a different look doing it just down the way I did. So let me get this in the view. Let me bring down the camera just a little bit. I'm going to learn this. These camera, I'm all moved over here. So, but look how cool. And you got some really cool crackle. And 
you know, that's a great, that's great for a background or if you, you know, you, you use it on any kind of piece of paper and you cut it out and you do, um, you know, whatever. So have fun and play. It's very easy. If you guys have any questions, just ask me. Um, but again, I mean, look how fun I'm just going to, this is, and you can see how it's still a little bit wet, but again, look how fun. That's the one with the smaller crackles. which is rocking, and that one is the one with the bigger crackles. Look how fun. So it gives you a very inexpensive, cheap way to do crackle. So please uh, try it, uh, and if you do, post a picture. I would love to see it, and if you have any questions, I'm always here. Thank you.